It's election year. Do you want to know if the president's speech is public domain so you can reuse it in your own creative work? Do you have two minutes? I'm Courtney from New Media Rights, a nonprofit legal clinic that focuses on helping artists and entrepreneurs put their art and or business online. In the past few videos, we've been talking about public domain and what is and isn't in the public domain. You should check them out if you're wondering about things like stamps, mugshots, or even The Wizard of Oz. I think we did one about which historical speeches are public domain. It's hard to remember with all those crazy times we had, you know, getting to know each other and talking about the law. But this time, we're going to focus on one particular kind of speech, the president's inaugural speech. Is it in the public domain? Well, works made by employees of the federal government, which the president certainly is, are automatically placed in the public domain. So, you're in luck this time, because the answer is simple. Presidential inaugural speeches are in the public domain. And what's more, websites like Project Gutenberg and the online collections of presidential libraries provide transcripts of these speeches for you to download and read. This means you can quote, repurpose, republish, and even sell this stuff if you wanted to. But of course, there are some things to watch out for before you start using everything from the inauguration. Photos or videos may still be under copyright. Some images of the White House must be obtained through the Library of Congress, for instance. Also, you may need permission from services such as Yale's Avalon Project that provides searchable texts of inaugural speeches. Don't worry, we'll provide a link to the Library of Congress's helpful guide to inaugurations in the video description. But hey, why don't we make this a quid pro quo? By which I mean, it would be awesome if you gave us a donation on our YouTube channel or at newmediarights.org if you've been enjoying these videos. It's the only way we can keep making them. Finally, we'd also like to thank the Electronic Frontier Foundation for providing the backbone to our discussion on public domain. See you in the next video. Good morning. Are you accepting internship applications for this? <laughs> Sorry, I copied a... Because <laughs> I was trying to like copy something and it's something from my previous <laughs> email on my computer. <laughs>